Welcome to Play Quiz! If you are here, it is because your curiosity and desire to learn go beyond intergalactic space. This video will be a bit more informative than usual. Ready to take off? Play Quiz! Let's see, do you know which was the first living being to travel to space? Actually, the first animals in space were the fruit flies. Although we all know Laika, who was a Soviet space dog who became the first living terrestrial being to orbit the Earth. Do you know how long ago the solar system was formed? It was formed more than 4.5 billion years ago. How? Well, specialists indicate that it was due to the gravitational collapse of part of a giant molecular cloud. Did you know that the sun concentrates 99.86% of the mass of the entire solar system? Surprising, right? Let's go with something simpler. Do you know how many planets you can find in the solar system? The eight planets that make up the solar system from smallest to largest, according to distance from the Sun, are the following. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And there are a growing number of dwarf planets. At least that we know for now. What percentage of the Earth's surface is water? Water covers about 71% of the Earth's surface. However, did you know that only 0.025% is drinkable? What a curious fact! What is the name of the galaxy that houses the solar system? The galaxy in which we are located in the vast universe is known as the Milky Way. The solar system is located at one of the edges of the arms of this spiral galaxy known as the Orion Arm. I can't help but feel so small. The Sun is the closest star to the Earth. But what is the closest star to the Sun? Proxima Centauri is the closest star to the Sun. It is a red dwarf. This was discovered in 1915 and is located in the Centaurus constellation approximately 4 light years away. How long does the Sun have left to live? Well, yes, the Sun will disappear at some point. It is estimated that the life of this star will be about 10 billion years, and that now it is in the middle. But what will happen in 5 billion years when the Sun dies? Well, all the matter of the planets that make up the solar system will disintegrate and mix in a cloud, and they will probably collide with other clouds of gas and dust, and this will give rise to new planetary systems. What is the speed of light? Light travels in a vacuum at 299,792,458 meters per second, although it is usually rounded up and said to travel at 300,000 kilometers per second. What is the age of the universe? According to contemporary scientists, the universe is about 13.787 billion years old. This is based on the Big Bang Theory, and I felt old. Of the eight planets in our system, do you know which of them is the smallest and also closest to the Sun? Mercury is the planet of the solar system that's closest to the Sun and the smallest. It is part of the so-called inner planets and doesn't have natural satellites just like Venus. 
Did you know that Mercury is only slightly larger than the moon? Well, now you know. What is Nikolaus Copernicus known for? For the heliocentric model that is considered one of the most important theories in the history of science. To get the clearest idea, the theory of heliocentrism is an astronomical model where it is indicated that the Earth and the planets move around the Sun. Surely it sounds familiar to you. Which planet in the solar system has more moons? That's right, it is Saturn. It overtook Jupiter as the planet with the most moons, according to U.S. researchers. A team discovered a path with 20 new moons orbiting Saturn, now totaling 82 satellites, thus surpassing Jupiter, which has 79. New things are always being discovered. When was NASA founded? We've all heard of NASA. This is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Did you know that it is the US government agency responsible for the civil space program, as well as aeronautics and aerospace research? And it was founded on July 29, 1958. When was the first photograph of planet Earth from space taken? The first photograph of the Earth from outer space was taken on October 24, 1946. The black and white photos were taken from a height of 65 kilometers with a 35 millimeter camera. How old is the Earth? If you know it, leave your answer in the comments. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Great job, you have finished the challenge. Keep enjoying our content by entering any of these videos. See you!